Which you guys today we're taking a look at how to use Windows Firewall to stop Microsoft spying on you. Now you don't need any software to do this. We're going to use the built-in firewall, which is inside all versions of Windows. So once you go up to here, what we're going to do is go to small icons and open up Windows Defender Firewall. This is in Windows 11, but this also works in other versions of Windows. Now it's no secret that anyone who uses Windows will have their data collected by Microsoft. This is private sensitive information that is being sent back to Microsoft and no one knows what they're doing. It's called telemetry and basically all of this data is being harvested from your activity on your computer. So here we have our built-in firewall and you can see here in the advanced firewall settings, you can actually add in uh, some outbound rules for your computer to stop data from being sent out of your computer. You can see it here, there's nothing set in here at the moment. All these green ticks are all services and information that will be allowed to go in and out of your computer onto the internet. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to use uh, this firewall to block a lot of well-known Microsoft uh, IPs. So here is a way to prevent uh, Microsoft from collecting your sensitive data by using the built-in firewall. You can see here on this website, it teaches you how to do it. And I'll show you how to do it in this video. It's pretty straightforward. So this one here is just gonna add one entry into the actual firewall. And I'll show you how it works. And then you'll get an understanding of what it's actually doing. And then I can show you how to add all of these in with a script. You can see here, I've copied and pasted this in and it says OK. It's now added this in, and this is the telemetry for Watson to block uh, that data. And you can see here, if we go back to the outbound rules here, you can see now we do have a entry added inside here, which is going to block all of the data from there going in and out of the computer, so they won't be able to harvest any data using this method. Now, this is quite a laborious process if you're going to add these in one at a time, but you can see the information here block this connection. So it's going to block uh, this information for this IP address, which is known to be Microsoft's. And this is what they use because you can use Wireshark to detect all of this. And this will determine how they get all these IP addresses and stuff. So you can see here, there's a big long list of stuff here uh, that you can block. And what we're going to do is going to add these in to our firewall. It's not going to hurt your PC and it's not going to block anything that you need and uh, you can remove them if you wish afterwards. So there is a list here that the guy has created. So you can download this list. I'll leave a link in the video description. It does say for Windows 10, but it does work for Windows 11 as well. So you can see here, I'm going to edit this so I can show you inside. And all it is, is just basically a batch file, which is going to run and it's going to run the script there. And it will then add all these into the firewall for us. So let's go ahead and I'm going to edit this and show you inside here. So you can see there is no malicious code. It's just the code on that website and they've added it into this script. So you don't have to do this one by one. So let's go ahead and get these installed onto the Windows firewall and you'll be able to see what happens. So what we're going to do is close this off and we're going to run that batch file by right clicking on it and running this as administrator. This happens quite quickly. So you probably won't see much happening on the screen. There's a box popping up here and you can see all the OKs going up and that's it, it's done. So now we can go to our firewall and take a look at the firewall settings here. So I'm gonna go back into the firewall and we're gonna go back into outbound rules and you can see now we have a bunch of entries added inside here. And these are all well-known Microsoft uh, entries that we've added in to block this data collection and telemetry services that Microsoft use on your computer to collect data. And this is what a lot of these programs do. They all block these by using, uh, you know, registry and also by using group policy and a bunch of other things. And this is just using the firewall, but you can use this in conjunction with a lot of other things inside Windows without having to use any sort of software if you want to, if you're one of these people that don't like using software and you want to do it manually so you can reverse that, you can do. And this is it all here. There's tons of them inside here and they're all related to Microsoft feedback. As you can see here, telemetry for diagnostic support and other ones inside here. There's a big long list of them. And if you go looking around, you'll find a bunch of these on the internet, which you can use to block 
You can see ads.msn.com and a bunch of other stuff inside here. And all you need to do is add these in and it will block both inbound and outbound connections from these IPs and from these addresses. So it will stop them from harvesting data using this method, which will help alleviate some of the pain. Now you can see here, you can delete these if you want to. If you don't want them inside your computer anymore, you just highlight them and click delete and they will be removed. These are only uh, outbound rules and inbound rules for your computer. Next, you can go into your services and you can disable some services in here which are collecting and harvesting data on your computer. There's a few of them in here which you can uh, disable, which is your diagnostic tracking service and a bunch of other ones inside here. I've done videos on this, so I'm not going to spend too much time inside here, but do your little research and you'll find there's a bunch of them inside here which you can disable and stop them from harvesting data from your computer. So just put these inside uh, the disabled list, just double click on them, uh, stop the service and disable them, and you should be pretty much good to go. You can also use your Windows settings. You can go inside here, inside your privacy and security, and you should be going in here anyway and doing this manually and you can disable a lot of this information like diagnostic and feedback and things like that you can see i've already done mine already and these are all turned off and disabled you can do these in group policy using applications or you can use uh, registry at uh, hacks as well to stop this from being collected on your system and uh, that is pretty much the settings inside windows also you'll probably find if you've got windows 10 or Windows 11 Pro, you can use Group Policy Editor as well to block a lot of stuff like this. And I've also made loads of videos on this topic as well, but I'll just quickly show you here. Inside here, you'll see data collection and preview builds. Inside the right hand pane here, you'll say allowed diagnostic data and things like that. You can uh, disable these features in here, and this will stop them from harvesting and collecting uh, data and telemetry on your PC. And it will just block it. You can use applications for this. There's some pretty good applications out there and scripts that are free to use, which will block a lot of this stuff. But you can do a lot of this manually as well if you want to. Uh, that's what I prefer to do go in manually and block a lot of this stuff. And then you can save all your settings. And then when you do a fresh install of Windows, you can just uh, import these settings and they will already be automatically added to your computer. So you can see here. Configure connect, uh, connected user experience and telemetry. You can obviously disable this feature. Just read the little information on the right hand side here and it will tell you whether to disable or whether to enable this feature to block it. Okay. So, depending on what that message says there, you use the right setting for that particular uh, type of uh, policy that you're setting up on that computer. Now, of course, this video is for the paranoid Pete out there who loves to block a lot of this data collecting and telemetry on their computer. You can do a lot of this stuff manually. And this is for people also that are using the built in firewall and they're not using any sort of antivirus firewall. You can actually use those as well to block these on there. And I'll make another video showing you how to do that if you wish. But basically, this is how you can use Windows built in programs and also uh, built in uh, settings to block a lot of the telemetry. Now, whether you can block 100% of Microsoft data collecting telemetry is up for debate. Uh, again, that will be another topic for another video. But anyway, that is the start of it. Anyway, you can reduce the amount of data being collected and that's how you can do it on your PC for free without installing any sort of software. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I just want to say a big thank you to every YouTube member who has joined my YouTube members group, whether you're tier one, tier two or tier three. It doesn't matter. I appreciate the support. Also on our Discord server now, there is a free uh, voice chat which you can enter into and have a chat if you wish over there. Anyway, take it easy. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.